Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be doing a tutorial on pendulum swimming. Now I have already done this, but I've done an update on this and I've included a body cam. So, hope you guys enjoy, let's get into it. So the first thing to understand is why this swim is better than other swims. So with other swims, like usually the one people learn at first, the breaststroke, the issue with this is once your arms get to around here, and you have to bring them back up, you don't gain any speed in that time. You're just kind of like resetting them back and you don't get any movement at all. So to fix that, you might say, oh, well, we should do something where there's no movement back. And there is something like that. It's called the torpedo. I'll show you it. So in this motion, you never really stop. There's not a time when there's a stopping motion. The only issue with this is, you know, you're spinning and you're going to get dizzy and you can't see where you're going. So this is why pendulum swimming is better because it combines, you know, being able to see where you're going, but also you don't stop as much. The only time that you stop is right here with your hands when they switch and they move, but it's only for like a split second and it's only like you reach the top and then you move back. So you're really moving most of the time. All right, first we have to learn how to pendulum swim upwards. So first I'm gonna show you in game and then I'll show you through pass through so you can see my hands a little clearer. So first what you wanna do, you wanna stick your arms out and you wanna bring them to the right. And if you bring them to the right, you want to tilt them clockwise, just like this. So you tilt them this way and then you push all the way to the left. And when you do this, you should go upwards. And you should also go a little bit that way. So once you get here, to the left side, you want to rotate your hands back, and then to the left, or counterclockwise, and you want to push back. And when you tilt your hands, they should be 45 degrees. Just like that, and just like that. And you want to do this back and forth. So I push, I turn them, and I push. So you can see I go back and forth, and that makes me go upwards. Now, obviously, to get more speed with this, you want to bring your arms farther back and really extend them out and push. And obviously, you go like a little faster. So, kind of something like that. And you see, I get a lot of height here. So let me switch over to pass through so you guys can see this. Alright, so basically my hands would be straight if they were like this. You can kind of see my hands here. I bring them to the right and I rotate them this way. Push. Rotate them this way. Push. So it's just kind of like this. Obviously with your hands farther away. You can see I'm just rotating back and forth. So this is kind of the basics to the pendulum swim, but obviously instead of going upward where we want to be going straight forward. So the only main difference is, and let me tilt myself, the only main difference is instead of doing it here, you do it down here. And to make this easier, you want to kind of lean forward, and your, an your hands, they're going to look a little different than what they do up here. So I like to show my hands when they're down here, but I think that was a little confusing for some people, like when to switch. So I'm going to show it up here. So your hands should be at an incline like this. Both your hands should be like this, almost like you're holding an invisible rod like that. And you bring them straight down like this. Don't go with your hands. Go like straight down and across. So you can see, bring my arms down and then back up and when you go up your hands they should be almost like this like they're pushing up like that now it looks like I'm not really going straight forward but that's because I only pushed one way and when I bring my arms from the right you can see I should be going up a little bit and then this way I go down a little bit but they should cancel out if you're going at the same speed like that so then once you get up here you put your arms like this bring them down just like that and you see if you do this over and over again you're just going to keep going straight forward 
Now you might be a little confused on like why you should do this and why it kind of works. So if you think of like a helicopter or maybe even like a motor on a boat, it never pushes away. It's not like it's pushing and then coming back and pushing. It's literally using rotational speed and translating that into like the direction they want to go. All right, now that you understand how to do the swim, let's go over some big things that people do wrong and a lot of mistakes that beginners have when they try to do this. All right, so the biggest thing is kind of your hand placement, and that's why I try to show you it uh, in pass-through as well so that you, you know how to place your hands because if you don't put your arms in the right spot and you have them just like parallel with your body, you're not going to move that fast. You might move a little bit because your arms get tilted like slightly and it looks like you can move, but when you actually try it, you're not going to move that fast at all. So it's really important to keep that angle and go down with it and keep it like that. A big issue that I see as well is people still try to do the old method of pushing backwards. There should be no like pushing backwards at all or bringing your arms back and having to move them forward. It is literally just side to side. That's why it's called pendulum because if you think of like a pendulum, it just swings out in front of you like this. So when you do it, try not to move your hips at all. Try not to like rotate back and push. You should literally just be letting your arms swing left and right and just changing your wrist. Another big thing I see is many beginners, they, they think, oh, I should be loose and I should let my arm swing. And they think that that also applies to your wrist, but that's not true. You want your wrist to be almost like robotic, and you want them in their spot, down, twist, and back up. They shouldn't be like swaying at all, because that'll just slow you down. The only thing that should be loose is kind of your shoulders and your arms, because if your arms are like loose, you won't get hurt as much, and you shouldn't get sore from doing this. So you just, you're just letting them swing, but you're keeping your wrists tight, and locked in their positions. So some people ask me for speed. What is better to try to go really fast down here or to let my arms go all the way up and extend them high? And this is kind of just based on different people and their setup. I have a lot of light so I tend to go a lot higher because I won't lose tracking as much. But if you're someone with not a lot of light or you play on, I don't know, something with bad tracking, you definitely want to do smaller pushes down here and you want to look at it so that it doesn't get mixed up at all. Alright, let's go over some other things that people had questions on. A uh, big thing was moving with one hand and doing it with one hand while you're dive turning with the other. Now, I did a whole video on dive turning so you can check that out. Uh, I'm not really going to be covering that. But what you want to do is just try to think about pendulum swimming but do it with only your right hand. So you can even start doing it and going around and then just stop your left hand, let your right arm keep doing the motion and just look forward and up and then start doing it faster and, and really try to bring your arm up and around. It might feel weird like you're trying to collide your, your hand into your other hand, but it actually won't be a problem. Uh, just you just gotta like swing it around, and that's really just it for dive turning with one hand and pendulum swimming with your other. Another thing that just helps when you're pendulum swimming is holding the tips of your controllers. So I'll quickly go to pass through and show you what that looks like. So to do this right, you don't want to grip your controllers like normal. Like you can kind of see with the black outline of my hand. You want to bring your arms down and just hold it by the ends. So something like this, and this will give you a lot more height. And this is just lastly, one more thing I want to mention is you can actually pendulum swim backwards and it looks a little bit different. So what you want to do is you want to have your arms kind of here. They still need to be in that 45 degrees and you want to kind of push up and over almost like you're kind of drawing a rainbow or something like that. So you push up, stop here, twist your arms back and go up again. So kind of like this, 
you can see I'm moving pretty fast backwards. And even just like one push like this is really good for trying to get better at water control. So if you're moving fast in the water, you can just kind of whip around and it'll stop you pretty quickly. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. Tell me uh, what you thought about the, the camera and if you guys actually like it. And maybe if you want me putting it more in more videos. I hope you all have a great day. Make sure to leave some comments if you're still confused and you want me to answer any of those questions. I'll try to get to them. Peace.